<clears throat> hey YouTube, it's Yvonne here. Um, I just decided to come on here and make a quick video about my main change. Now I'm doing this for my own personal, personal need, desire to be transparent, as transparent as this world will let me be. There's certain things that I won't be transparent about, like if I had to think, there are certain things that I won't share online about, like my bedroom. I will not sh share any photos of my of me in my bedroom. Um, I will not share any photos or vids of people I love the most because this world is kind of. corrupting and there's certain things that I love so much and mean so much to me I would fight tooth and nail to protect them and to seek justice for them I've been called a pit bull for those I love <laughs> even though I consider myself more of a chihuahua uh, <laughs> there's just certain things that I won't be transparent about but for my own personal integrity my own personal journey I'm on I'd like to give a quick update about why I was red pill Yvonne just yesterday and just this early afternoon rambling Yvonne so I did write some notes it says why name change rambling Yvonne okay <laughs> I will still be popping red pills, harsh truths, begging for us to wake up and break free. I will still be trying everything to escape the matrix and its deprogramming. But I feel red pill Yvonne puts me in some sort of box, in a box I don't want to be. It says... That causes, it kind of causes me pressure within my black and white thinking, which it, within my splitting, within my BPD, it causes me pressure to feel like I need to create content, content, <laughs> I need to create content just about, you know, bringing awareness and whistleblowing and, you know, harsh truths and waking you up, which yes, that's something very important to me and something I'll never stop until YouTube, you know, stops me. And actually shout out to YouTube. Thank you so much for letting me change my name and having the choice to change my name. I think it says something strange like um, every 14 days or within two, some, I don't know, some, something really strange. But thank you so much YouTube for letting me change my name. Shout out to YouTube. But yes, I feel like Red Pill Yvonne kind of keeps me in a box. A box where my um, black and white mind makes me feel pressured to only make content about waking up. Which, you know, is not what I'm all about. Yes, that's huge to me and it's mega important and I know it involves so many things and I'm working on, you know... I'm working on deprogramming myself and reprogramming myself every day, often, all the time. Um, but I truly feel like my channel is more about rambling, is more about kind of ranting, is more about um, free speech, free, um, kind of like, I would say like an open journal, open diary. For me to just kind of like do whatever the hell I want to be free. Um, another reason is rel red pill is kind of overused, as well as it's kind of been corrupted in some ways that I um, will not indulge in because for me red pill is you know the um, popping popping a pill to wake you up to the harsh truth of reality to um, wake you up and bring awareness 
to what's really going on in society rather than what they want us to know. And, you know, we won't go into things that it's like, oh, this is simulation. Um, I was having a conversation today with a loved one and it was about why the hell has there not been any assassination attempts on these leaders and on these um, certain individuals that um, are kind of as red pill is associated with walking lizards <laughs> um, and the only way that can be is that it is a simulation in the fact that we are being programmed on a daily certain individuals who are comfortable enough and may have guns may just be comfortable enough to be like you know there's no reason to do this or do we live in a a polite society where you know we don't result in in that kind of violence um that's a very it was a very fun conversation intriguing conversation um that's another reason why i want to be rambling yvonne because i love conversations i love condensating conversating and you know exploring one another's beliefs opinions thoughts exploring my own beliefs, opinions, and thoughts, questioning my own beliefs, opinions, and thoughts within these rambles, I find it's kind of me seeking within and, you know, puking it out to uh, whoever desires to watch. Whether you're here or far away. <laughs> Ramble. Um, let's see, let's see, uh, yes, it says, I don't want to be in a box of the red pill nature. My channel is much more about rambling and speaking my mind, body, and soul. I made up my mind, and I am grateful for the elbow room, the breathing space the leeway, the flexibility, the free range, the natural realness, openness, spontaneity, and full play. <laughs> my power, my compass, my discretion. And I once again, hash, hashtag thank you YouTube. Shout out to YouTube for giving me that um, neutrality, the laser fair approach that I truly kind of taken all of my life. It's my way, it's my power, it's my compass, and it's my discretion on what I'm doing, what I'm saying, how I'm being. And um, I'm so grateful for that freedom. Freedom is um, something I truly believe we all deserve. Something I truly believe that will save us from whatever um harsh truths we need to wake up to <laughs> i'm still gonna be an unhinged conspiracy theorist i'm extreme and intense in nature and uh cheers to that perhaps Red Pill Yvonne isn't as authentic to me as Rambling Yvonne. I'm Yvonne in general, FTL warrior. When making this video, I actually thought of, um, speaking of FTL, FTL warrior, which is Faithfully Through Life Warrior, where you don't know what's going to go on. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going to go on. But you're going to keep fighting. And you're going to keep fighting for yourself. And Faithfully Through Life did originate from my faith in myself. My faith in, in my strength and my ability to um, resist and be resilient. Um... And in reality, the name doesn't really matter. Just like what I'm putting out there doesn't really matter to any of you, perhaps. Because this channel has always been about me not leaving 
my bridge is unturned or leaving the rocks unturned. When I'm dying on my deathbed, will I be like, I did that and I did that for me and I'm so grateful I did that. And um, who knows what the world's going to be in 50 years. I'm not really focused on that, but I'm focused on when I'm on my deathbed, when, I'm, when I die, what did I leave behind? And, um, I will have left behind this channel and all these videos and, um, whatever else I decide to, or am creating, manifesting, and, um, creating my reality and turning into my reality. Um, and I think I'm mega grateful for that knowledge. This is ginger rail, by the way, if anybody is curious. And there's a fancy baddie bitch. And this is non-nicotine vapor. I won't get into that. That's for my video about how I quit weed and how I'm quitting weed and how I have not smoked weed for 116 days by that time. I'm imagining it's going to be 122. But who knows? I, you know, at the top it says, I do what I want. I do what I do. And that's why I am now rambling emo. And I'm feeling so at peace with it. I'm so filled with gratitude that I am able to change my name. Once again, I will still be doing everything in my power to escape the matrix and the depro and deprogram myself from the matrix grasp. And when I say that I see so many things that I need to um, put action towards to do such. And um, I would say that is for a video too. I wish I kind of brought a pen so I could write that down. But... Perhaps this is a message to we are ever changing beings and allow yourself to change, whether it's big or small. Life is demanding us to change in small ways, in big ways, in slow ways, in fast ways. Give yourself that com compassion and, and patience, I'd say. But um, change is constant and... Um, from the first time I started making videos here on YouTube, um, I know I've changed so much and I'm very mega grateful for that. And I'm even more mega grateful and excited because I'm just going to keep changing as much as I do fight against the change, fight against the current. And that's when life gets real rocky and bumpy because the universe is forcing or not forcing but like trying to be gentle and compassionate and patient with you to change to change but there's just some things that you need to change now or there'll be dire consequences uh. part of more um yeah <laughs> just to show you my notes mad scientists world domination i think another thing i need to touch on is you are what you want to be you are what you create yourself to be you aren't what anyone says you are you ain't what anyone's talking smack about you are you are what you think you are so seek within yourself to the depths of your darkness and to the depth of your light, what you are, who you want to be, and be gentle and kind with yourself while working to get there. You can manifest anything, and you can create any reality you desire once you 
start seeking the thing. And um, I wish you all the best within this dynamic journey of being human in such a world as ours. Seeking within is the way to go. <laughs> There's no hero outside of you. You have to be your hero. So, I'm over and out. I'm sending you a lot of love, a lot of evolution. Um, watch this video. Like this video. Don't watch this video. Don't like this video. Do as your soul, mind, and body seeks you to do. Um, yeah. I'm wishing your you evolution, healing, and um, everything you need right now to stay strong and know your power and know your compass and know your just um, discretion. 